ויצא המן ביום ההוא שמח וטוב לב, וכראות המן את מרדכי בשער המלך, ולא קם ולא זם ממנו, וימלא המן על מרדכי חמה. ויתאפק המן ויבוא אל ביתו, וישלח ויבא את אוהביו ואת זרש אשתו. ויספר להם המן את כבוד עושרו ורוב בניו, ואת כל אשר גילו המלך, ואת אשר נישאו על השרים ועבדי המלך. These few lines describe the personal hatred that Haman had towards Mordechai. It never bothered Haman that he was promoted over everyone else. The mere presence of Mordechai was enough to enrage Haman. Haman's attentions have shifted from destroying the Jewish people and turns towards Mordechai. Understanding that to destroy the Jewish people, you need to destroy their leaders, their source of Torah, which during those times was through Mordechai. In these few verses, you see a parallel between the beginning of the Megillah and now. In the beginning of the Megillah, Ahashverosh shows את עושר כבוד מלכותו ואת יקר תפארת גדולתו. When he showed the riches of his glorious kingdom and the honor of his excellent majesty. And Haman recounted to them the glory of his riches and the multitude of his children. Achashverosh was angry when Vashti refused his orders. And similarly, Haman was angry when Mordechai refused his orders. Both Haman and Achashverosh consult with their advisors over what to do next. Achashverosh advisors said, get rid of Vashti. Zeresh says to Haman, get rid of Mordechai. There is though a difference in the parallel which the author of the Megillah is trying to show. The central strength that Haman has over Achashverosh is his family. He has many children. There is a close connection between Haman and his wife Zeresh. They consult and listen to one another. Achashverosh never had that same strength of family in the Megillah. Why is the Megillah trying to show the certain strength of Haman's family? To highlight the weakness of the Jewish family. The Jewish family in exile is broken. Esther is orphaned and torn away from her uncle Mordechai. There is a lack of joy. The family structure is broken. The prophet Jeremiah's instruction to the Jewish people when returning from exile was to rebuild the family, marry again, have children and multiply. Our mitzvot over Purim is titled and brought about Mishpacha u Mishpacha each family together. The Jewish family in the end of the Megillah is reunited, strengthened, made happy with the renewed identity, made more solid with close friendships and gifts to one another. This Purim, we will only have our immediate family together due to health rules, but let us take heed what the people in this exile were told by Jeremiah, to utilize this time not to be downheartened by these troubling times and allow our exile, our isolation, not to create despair and desolation, desolation, but utilize the time to strengthen our families and increasing the love of Torah HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and the Jewish people. Chag Sameach.